how to make one of these legs for the fawn okay and for this you will use this wire that comes in the subscription box it's a it's a really sturdy wire it has got um, a paper covered around it and you're using this as um, a way to add wool over the top so really tightly and then you're going to slip the wire out and then you just end up with um, a relatively stiff long sausage of wool and the way it works best is by using the lanolin rich wool which um, as mentioned is in your um, makers box and to do this you start and this is the tricky bit because what I normally say is when you wrap wire I say oh use some beeswax balm or sometimes you can even put glue on to stop it from slipping around with this I don't want you to do that at all because you're going to have to pull the wire out at the end and you really don't want this um, to be fastened on so you're going to have to find a way of getting this nice and tight what I do and I'm just going to go a little bit smaller so you can see it um, a little bit um, closer up what I do I hold on to um, the wispy end of the wool as tightly as I can so if I pull here now I've got a bit of a tension going and then you are wrapping the wool like a ribbon around that bit to get it nice and tight so at the moment I'm not letting go with my uh, with this hand with my right hand because I want it to be um, I'm holding it nice and tight so that I'm literally letting the wool grip into itself and at some point you're gonna have to let go of it because you have to go along that wire where my hand is but now if I pull it tight it's not actually moving can you see it's 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 holding nice and tight and now I can start layering the wool over it without it slipping around and um, what I've often do is when it's established like this I turn the whole thing round and then I'm just going to turn the wire and wrap the wool around it now you do need to be quite um, you need to make this quite tight and uh, you're not going all the way up the leg because then you would be making um, far too long a, a leg so go by the instructions and I'm just gonna pull them out and I'll show you that bit so you could get a sense of how um, we word this and how we ask you to do that there you are so this is the bit I'm referring to so you are um, you're going to go up the leg 16 to 17 centimeters you can measure it against the side here um, so you've got your um, tape measure here on the side and then you just literally follow the photos and um, and get to that part of the leg and I will show it to you here so I'm wrapping this around I'm gonna put a bit more speed up now so we get to the end of this leg and you can turn it around as I did earlier to speed it up just all you need to do is keep this nice and tight no needle felting required at all for this um, and um, go 16 to 17 centimeters up that leg I'm gonna uh, measure that in a minute against my um, tape measure um, tease the wool as you're going along so don't um, put too thick a layer on that stops you from keeping it nice and tight and if need be wrap it just going to measure that quickly making sure i'm um, going the right there we go that's about the right length now there and uh, so now i'm going to turn around and go over it again and uh, once you've had you've got the first layer on it's actually a lot quicker um, going over it again as long as you've got the first layer nice and tight so you're putting the second layer over it um, and then when you get to the end at any point it just so happens it's um, as I got back just let these wispy ends completely sink into the wool so that this is what the looks like at the moment it's a little bit like um, candy floss um, except it tastes nothing like it and certainly doesn't smell as nice um, so and then you are starting over again put a second layer on and it also tells you in the, in the instructions how thick the leg needs to be so you will um, measure that again against the um, the tape measure if you haven't got anything else to hand so they're quite handy to have um, these little centimeter um, um, strips on the side of the instructions there we go and I'm just going to check how 
thick the leg needs to be. Um, but the principle is the same, that you just keep going round and round, keeping it nice and flat and keep the wool really tight on, um, um, on the wraps there. So um, how thick does this need to be? I'm just going to have a look now. And it basically says here, the leg should be firm. The more thin la layers used, the firmer the leg will be with um, no need to felt it down. So I'm reading this upside down. Though you can tidy uh, one end um, like the foot by stabbing into it um, a few times, you will use all of the um, allocated wool. So seven grams per leg. And um, it needs to be about um, two and a half centimeters thick. So I'm just going to check that against my, yeah, that, that'll do. So I've made my first leg and, and now I'm going to slip it off. I'm going to go a little bit, um, uh, a little bit bigger now. Um, so there's my leg. It does look a bit like a, um, like a, a not quite a finished candy floss here. And I should be able to just pull the wire out there pulling it out and I've got a leg here that doesn't um, it's not it's solid it's not um, flopping around and then all you're going to do is you're just felting flat one end like that and um, and when you get to fasten it to the phone and I have got a I've got a second phone here. This is a little bit bigger. So when you get to fasten it to the phone, and when you do that, you haven't got any cover um, on there yet. You're using the bit that you haven't felt it down. And this is just another way. And that's why one, we've got one of these um, templates in here actually shows you how the legs are going to be um, put onto the phone. So this is the front leg here, where you go um, fold it in half and then um, have the, the, the sort of um, the elbow here at the front and then um, this one here you actually this is folded three times where these two bits here they become the solid part of the hind leg so that's almost like the hip there and then you have that bit coming here to the front so that's exactly how the hind legs needs to be folded so you're um, you're going this way first then um, round and out again so bearing in mind that this leg is is meant for the slightly a smaller fawn, this is basically how you needle felt the leg on and you're not worrying one little bit that it just looks like you've just um, attached a leg to a fawn because once you start covering it with wool, it will um, look completely different. And then this part here, this part here will then become um, this sort of chunkier part here um, and so inside there is the, the gap between um, the leg that's been folded. So that's basically how you um, make the leg and, um, and, um, and then attach it. And then obviously the front leg here is um, slightly different. But um, I hope that um, that will help you with the instructions. Um, the wire pulls out. You do not use the wire um, inside the phone. The, there will be a bit of the wire used inside the phone, but that is to put it in the uh, in the neck and um, to fasten the head onto it. But you do this after you have made the legs when you don't need the uh, wire for the um, the legs anymore. So I hope that um, that's been um, a useful little tutorial. And um, yeah, just have a go if you want. I'm gonna have a cup of tea now. Um, join our everyone a maker. Um, Facebook page if um, you haven't joined yet. <laughs>